comic books used to be known as an underground culture, but now comics are making a serious comeback and a new breed of graphic novels are emerging. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath introduces us to a Bemidji author and comic collector who is part of this creative writing world. This is done by Christopher Jones. A comic collector by day, fiction author by night. I got those yesterday, didn't I? You could say creative writer Roy C. Booth literally lives in a fantasy world. There's quite a few of us who, you know, in the horror mainstream or underground, if you will. Not exactly a graphic First novelist, time. Booth and his sidekick R. Thomas Riley specialize in speculative fiction. Considered science fiction, fantasy, or horror. It has a lot of strong comic book themes and tropes, if you will. Booth and Riley's newly released collaboration, The Flesh of the Fallen Angels, is the first part of a science fiction western series. The genre is weird western. You're basically combining the best of both worlds between westerns and sci-fi. This one in particular was originally sold as a graphic novel. But even though these authors don't write graphic novels, they are very much a part of the comic book craze. And it goes from A all the way down to about, I think, S. From household names like Superman to less common titles like Aquaman, Booth has more than 90,000 comics in his store, which is only one-fifth of his entire collection. That's a famous Uncle Sam World War II cover. And even if you're not a comic book buff, it's hard not to look through this extensive collection of comics and not find something you aren't familiar with. Even I was surprised at how many of these titles I recognized. You don't have your stereotypical, you know, geek and the comic shop anymore. You know, you have, you know, housewives that are reading comics now. And while comics have made a serious comeback in modern pop culture, zombies, uh, vampires, and all things horror have, have also Western stepped style. into the spotlight once again. Horror is the universal medium, I think. Uh, it's, it's in everything. Actually, it's picking up. You can tell from a lot of uh, uh, ultra media, like movies and that sort of thing. This genre of horror, gore, and superheroes may seem like senseless entertainment Marvel. to the untrained eye. I think no matter what, horror is a genre where you can have a message. But these comic book buffs don't really care if people and, uh, think graphic novels are for nerds. They will always be proud to say they are part of the comic culture, whether it's considered cool or crazy. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donnett, Lakeland News. What an incredible collection, and Booth also has written several screenplays and says he has a movie currently in the works. And of course, if you ever have an In Focus idea, you can email, tweet, or post it to our Facebook page. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.